Don't you know you high class social climbers play your games? Meet the man that works the clock nine to five each day. Though you sign my paychecks, buddy, you ain't no mystic sage. Your signature ain't worth the ink. All right, folks, and welcome back to the adventure of Rainic Star Rainic Straight Lighter. I keep wanting to say Starlighter, Straight Lighter. It's just my name, Rainic Straight Lighter. Nick Straight. See, and it's like my name starts at the end of the first name and begins at the beginning of the last name. Rainic Straight Lighter. <clears throat> it's not that hard. Anyway, um, I'm making it harder than it needs to be. Anyway, welcome back. Here we are in Proud Spire Manor in lovely solitude, the capital of Skyrim. And we have received a quest from Falk Firebeard, the steward um, of Elisif the Fair, who should be the rightful queen of Skyrim, but because of this darn civil war... She's not been giving credit where credit is due. Anyway, so Rainick is a Jedi, and he has been sent here by the Jedi Council to set up residence here in Solitude and assist uh, the Queen however he can. So uh, this is part two of our adventure. I, uh, I just, um, a couple hours ago, streamed part one of our adventure which was basically just me kind of setting up setting up house here as a base of operations um and i totally forgot that you know i'm actually like i should be going to bed so i can get up early and go on my uh go on my merry way we're going to be investigating a place called wolf skull cavern there's some weird stuff going on there so they need me to go Jedi it out. What time is it? It's 6 p.m. So I'm going to get very well rested. I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. <sighs> and we'll get up at 6 in the morning. <clears> hmm. <throat> I awaken feeling well rested. I feel comfortable. I'm mildly thirsty. I'm drinking from my water skin. I'm feeling mildly hungry. I'm feeling a bit thirsty. I'm eating some apple. Eating some apples. I'm feeling a bit hungry. Consumed more of my water skin. Now I have an empty water skin. But I'm feeling well hydrated. So I'll stop by the Winking Skeever on the way out of town uh, and get a refill of my water. Yeah. Almost hit myself in the face with my bedroom door. And this is a heavily modded Skyrim, of course. But it's modded with all the best of intentions. I'm going to walk out here on the veranda. Come on now. Cold weather. It is cold. Oh, wait. Ugh. I need my coat.
which also works as some light armor. Yes, I know how exposure works. Alright. Bound up the stairs here. That beautiful morning light. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take my Wayfarer's coat. Swap that out for the fine clothes that I'm wearing now. Um, I'm going to keep the hat on just because it, it is cold. So Wayfarer's coat. My armor rating is still very low, but we're going to... And I hope that we don't get into too much mischief. There's the man himself. His lightsaber there. Find his water skin. Lore friendly lightsabers. Let's see. Alright. <clears throat> ah, I jumped down the stairs. Alright, so I'm actually going to go deal with this cave. I am still level 1 at this point. I'm extremely low level. Mm. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. Mm. It's delicious. Monkeys, it's raining. Uh, what time is it? 622? Okay, I'm gonna go sit in the winking you, skeever for you help me. I you help people, right? I That's do. What you do I do, but I don't I don't have time to help you right now, my friend. I'm 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 sorry. It's a moral conundrum. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. All right. All right. Well, see you later. You shouldn't leave solitude without trying our fish. Best in Skyrim. Nice. A wanderer like you needs a little fire in the veins. Some spiced wine? No, I'm good. Too early. Too early, and I need my wits about me. I am damp. Quite damp. How much money do I have? 263 gold. Maybe I can fashion some stuff. First I'm going to go sit in the winking skeever and wait for the shops to open. I need to buy some more water anyway, so... The Winking Skeever is uh, the pub here in Solitude. The, the Winking Skeever is what that says. I quick save obsessively. You never know when a heavily modded Skyrim is just going to crash to desktop on you. Happens all the time. All right, is Corpulus up? I don't. Who is? Who am I going to buy water from right now? This guy's just still sitting in here, huh? <sighs> Who's this over here? I've heard meat dries oh, the throat right. and milk tends to clog it. I've also been trying to drink plenty of water and avoid the hearth. Uh, hopefully it's enough. 
Who's this? Yes, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy dying? Okay, so she must be part of interesting NPCs. Uh, this is a mod that I'm using. I haven't met all of these people yet. Um, it's about 50-50. Some of, some of these people, I feel like they do enhance the game. Some of them, I they're they're way like over the top. I think they're kind of like they're not they're just in bad taste. Anyway, everyone dies. Not everyone is so insufferable about it. I'm sorry. What are you dying of? You appear to be healthy. Could see that, and I came out of concern for your welfare. <laughs> That's kind of cheeky. Um. Let's go with that. What do you mean you could see that? You could see me aging? Because that's what I'm dying of. Same as you. Oh, okay. Calm down, madam. No need to be antagonistic. I feel like we've gotten off on the Fine. wrong foot. Yeah. I already kind of don't... Don't like this. I feel like whoever wrote this mod, I don't know. I don't want to say anything bad about anybody, but I feel like the dialogue options are not things that I would say, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this mod for too much longer. I may get rid of it. Uh, let's see, so I've got an hour to wait, huh? I'm going to wait here on the bar stool. So it's almost eight. Zero. Why don't you ever sing some pirate song? I don't know. I don't think the head vocalist would like it. I'm still not officially a student yet, you know. You mean Pantia? That bitch is drunker than a barrel full of mud crabs. She won't know the difference. You talking about? Who are you? If Safia sent you, tell her to piss off. I'm a salvager now. You hear? Salvager? Your pirate? You must have barnacles in your ears. I said I'm a salvager. I salvage. What part of that don't you understand? My mistake. Is Safia harassing you? Why do you care? Seems like it ain't no one's business but my own. It's so defensive. You're the one who brought her name up. All right, you got me there. The meat face used to be my captain, all right. I used to salvage for her. Now I salvage for me. Uh. Uh. I. All right. Yeah. Not, not into it. Hey, there's Corpulus. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Like a refill of water, please. Of course. Thank you, sir. Remember the Winking Skeever next time your foot sore. Excuse me. He said he wasn't a pirate, but now he's singing songs about being a pirate. Come on now. What have I done? Hold on. Have I broken it? Ah, oh, Skyrim's not... Okay. Woo! Skyrim is responding. I thought for sure it was broken. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Ah!
I need some kind of better head covering than this. Like, I need some leather or something. If you ever want to replace those old rats, stop by I'm quite happy with my clothing, thank you. Welcome. Look around. We've trinkets, yeah. odds and ends, that sort of thing. What have I got? What have she got for sale? What does she have for sale? Fancy bearskin hood. Dark trim wolf skin hood black. A leather doublet. Male tunic. Linen travel cloak. That's not going to protect me, really. Did she sell any leather? She has a bear pelt, which I could turn that into leather. I'll take a cowhide. Horse hide. And let's see if she wants to buy any of the stuff I've got. I've got a ton of iron ingots. Here, take my silver ingot, take my steel ingot. Oh, here, buy that garnet from me. Yeah. I've got a bunch of iron ingots, too. So I'm going to go ahead and call that good. I'm going to go up to Viren's. Tan these hides and see if I can build myself. Maybe a leather ranger hood or something. I feel like I should have come prepared with that, but that's that's my own fault. Because it wasn't actually the Jedi Council that set me up, because that's just what I'm roleplaying. You know who it was that set me up? It was me. I'm the one that set me up. I forgot rain gear, so... I'm going to try to not console anything else in now that I'm actually playing. Hello, Birend. May I use your tanning rack? Thank you, sir. I'm going to make a whole bunch of leather. Lots of leather. Okay, so... Velvet boots. Velvet is not going to protect me from this. Wayfarer's coat, I've already got that. Alright, so let's see. Alright. Um, let's see about making a ranger hood. Helmet. Uh, I would need a fur plate. Fur mantle. High waveman mail. Hide armor, hide boots. Barbarian helmet. I don't know, man. What am I to make? I just don't know. My uh, smithing skill is not good enough yet to make uh, to make anything. Travel cloak hide. Well, that would definitely help. I guess let's start there. Maybe let me. I know I'm soaking wet. I know. Thank you for telling me. I would need leather armor and four leather strips for that. A doublet.
a hide travel cloak will definitely keep me a little less wet. So, let me build one of them. Uh, let me build another water skin. We have two of those. That'll help. Travel cloak, hide. Empty water skin. Alright, so let me... Don my hide... My hide travel cloak. Frostfall, armor and clothing. Okay, so let's go. My travel cloak, hide. So set protection. So this should be a leather cloak. So that'll, that'll offer me a little bit of protection from the wetness. Problem is, is I'm heading up north and it's going to be very, very cold. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? The finest weapons and armor. The finest weapons and armor. Alright, I'm gonna sell all my iron ingots. Um, let me upgrade my coat. Wayfarer's coat, armor 25, armor 27. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm sopping wet. Wanderer, looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. I'm looking to sell you things that I don't. Oh, okay, no. Looking to sell you things that I don't need. Did I already sell him all of my? Yeah, I did. All right. So we're good. We're good, right? Why am I carrying this so heavy now, though? Alright, I've got another empty water skin. I've got my razor. And always wet. Oh, speaking of which... Oh, I need to deploy my razor, actually, to get my... Okay, uh, settings. Frequency. One step every 12 hours. Facial hair grows when the player goes to sleep. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and go back and I'm going to say clean shave. Okay, so now I'll be able to start growing my beard. And maintaining my facial hair in ways. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and let it Let it grow. Alright. So yeah, being all wet and also... Uh, let me look at the map really quick, huh? Where are we going? That's the bird's eye. Man who cried wolf. Clear out wolf skull cave. So that's right here. So it's not too terribly far away. Nope, get rid of that. Move it. Yeah, so we'll come down the road here and we'll go right for at the second at the second fork. So yeah. It's gonna be cold. Supplies fur armor. I uh, should have built some fur armor. Whatever. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay one way or the other. But I do need to go in here and fill up my other water skin. Come on in. Let 
me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. No, I'm good. I just need. Uh, easy, welcome to the winking skeever, friend. I just need a refill of water. Of course. Thank you. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot sore. Need something. Seems there's always more to be done. Should I just take a solitude guard with me? Should I make a command decision and say that I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a solitude guard with me? I'm gonna do it. Tweak make follower. You're a proud spire man, huh? Beautiful house. At least from the outside. Non-custom. Alright. Better not try coming. Manage with AFT. Alright. Tweak options. Actions. I can't do the whole I need to trade something with you thing. It's like that is not an option. More options. Back. It's all right. You know what? I'm just taking him with me to, oh, pose. That's cool. Muscle flex. Great hands on. Dance. Do the snake. What? The pop. Safe, I hope. All right, come on, right solitude guard. You're my follower now. <sighs> Should I take two solitude guards with me? <laughs> yeah, let's let's take a couple solitude guards with me. Tweak, make follower. with AFT. Alright. Tweak options. I just want to make sure really quick that this guy is like essential. NPC cannot permanently die. Till next okay. Time. So both of my guys should be like that, right? Everything's alright? 
Tweak options, settings. Let me make sure he's essential as well. Okay. Until next time. All right, y'all. Good to have you by, friend. I need reliable people around. Hey, cool. All right. So I've just decided that these guys are going to come with me to check out the cave. Come on, Skyrim. Going on here. We're fine. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. Bringing a couple of guards with me. I think that's sensible. I think it's sensible to believe that Elisif absolutely would have given me a couple of guards to come with me. Well, I guess Falk would have, because he's the steward. But I'm sure that it would have been sanctioned by Alyssa. Friends, here we go. Maximum 100%. Okay, so I could literally die at this point. It's so cold. I don't actually have the proper equipment. Without shelter. I'm not going to sleep, but fire keeps you from getting any colder. <coughs> da, 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 We should have horses. We don't have enough money for horses. Yes. Though. Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drug and brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Another quiet day. What is happening? Creepy. You guys are creepy. I'm just. I'm gonna wait for an hour. See if the storm right. passes. No. Need potions? Head over to Angeline's aromatics. Alright, come on you guys. Alright. We're gonna hoof it. We are gonna run. We're gonna sprint when we can. Alright, this is the first fork in the world. Oh, hey, hey. Need something? Yeah, what do you got for sale? Take a look. A ranger hood or something? Uh, he's just selling. Good day. Hold on. Oh, did you need something? What can I do for you? He's just selling potions. Yes. Maybe if I can find enough snowberries. Alright, sprint! Alright, let's look at the map real quick. 
Yeah, so I need to get down here just a little bit further. this person what's a milk drinker like you doing out here sorry That's I'll be right. leaving now I am a milk drinker I prefer chocolate milk though okay I am going to freeze to death I'm gonna freeze to death This is bad. No. Yep, there we go. I passed out. My guard friends are going to have to drag me somewhere to get warm again. Ugh. Alright. Now we'll go on. You collapse on the cold earth. Hours pass in seconds. Suddenly, you awaken to the sights and sounds of a tavern, your companion standing nearby. They grin widely as you begin to rise to your feet. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here somewhere. Where are we? Oh, jeez. So, they obviously just didn't, they didn't just take me back to solitude. Where are we? Saw both of my guys. Uh, where am I? What is it? Something different about you. I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. Uh, heard any rumors lately? Travel to Helgen. Well, I don't want to travel to Helgen. Big talk of a little boy in Windhelm. Name of Aventus Aretino. Get this. He's been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Foolish lad. Okay. Good day. Where am I? Make it quick. Come on, guys. What is it? Yes. Where have we been taken to? I'll know once I'm outside here. I reckon. Oh, they just took me to Dragon Bridge. Wait. This is actually like best case scenario. That's fantastic. This is where we were trying to go. <laughs> it all worked out. It all worked out. You head into the old mercantile here. I love Skyrim. Mm. Let me know if you see any. And I love coffee. Huh? 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 Hey. Yeah. Huh? Got something to say? Yeah, what do you Take got for sale? Clothing wise. Da, da, da. Mail and surcoat. Rose 15 blue mage robes. All right, not really anything that I'm interested in, but all right then. Yeah. Need something? Make sure that we're all warmed up again. You look like you might. I hear Radiant Raiments has a large selection. All right, let's look at the old map again. Alright, I think we can probably get out of here. 
and on to where we're meant to be. All right, and it's only uh, it's only twenty to two in the PM. All right, let's go, guys. Heating pad indicating that it's given up. All right, so up this road here. Up this road we go. Let's sprint all we can. Keep following the road. Alright. Up we go. And in here, where is it? Oh, geez. He got him, guys. It's just a skeleton. Right? Use my Jedi senses. There we go. Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. All right. Into the cave we go. Scary stuff. Ooh, it's dark in here. It's quite dark in here. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Completely dry. What is that? Oh my god.
Was there not actually a person here? I was just completely making that up. Yeah, it was it was just a trick of the shadows. You guys be careful and don't set that off. Don't set off the trap. Don't do it. Did I take that? I'm gonna take that pickaxe. Jogger. be very very quiet okay there's something down there just quick save Solitude card. Uh, don't mess this up. Turn on real quick. Here's the Draugr. I don't need any of that stuff. Off the coast of ways to the east, you'll find the wreck of the Brine Hammer. Never know what treasures may still be aboard. Seems mm -hmm. like a random topic. Gold. I'll take that hunting knife. Gold is my
coin purse. Okay, well. Here we are. Hey, there's a woodcutter's axe. I definitely need that too. Nice. guys Necromancer, blue butterfly wing. I'll take another one of these hunting knives because they're pretty good value. Got three of my arrows back. Whoa, okay, so be careful there. Birch skeleton. Take that garnet and some bone meal. There's that empty wine bottle. Alright. Wolf skin. Home. Wolf skin. Improves the caster's warmth rating by 20 points. Yeah, that's good. Actually, really good. So I could go into magic here. Okay, so I should definitely favorite some of these. Um, tweak make follower, tweak commands, wolf skin. Apprentice Force Push. Conjure Familiar. Alright guys, so if we jump down here... Actually, mm -hmm. I need to know that you're all with me. Silver granite ring, yoink, I'll take that. Use my Jedi senses. senses some things. Alright, 
I think I'm on my own, and I'm probably going to be in close quarters, so... I've got my lightsaber ready to go. Looks like my guys aren't going to come with me on this. Where was that imp stool? Oh! Hey! He did at least. To Wolf Skull Ruins. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's this place. Holy monkeys. This is... We're crazy. Both my guys. Cure disease potion. Dark trim wolf skin cloak. Yeah, I'll take that. Take one of those and lesser reward. We fix that via mod configuration. Frostfall. Armor and clothing. Uh, where's my dark wolf skin cloak? Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that they've already got this set as default to fur cloak. Yeah, they do, so it's all good. Here he comes.
Facebook. Woof, 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 woof. Come on, leave him in here, guys. Oh, you got him already. Dang it. Totally missed. Only got ten arrows left. Oh god. Ancient Nord bow. Okay, what did this necromancer have on them? A hist carp, mud crab chitin. Watch out, you guys. Oh my 
good. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. They just noticed. Don't get directly in front of me. Hunting knife. Old zero hunting knife, steel arrow. Put an ash pile at your feet. Okay, quick save. Alright, here we go. Supposed to cut her down. Sorry, sorry, old lady. Okay, well, that was freaky. Ash pile. Alright, come on, y'all. This chest. Robes of minor illusion, potion of minor healing. Alright, well, that was pretty good. Are there baddies on the way out of here? out of here. Let's get out of here. It's a Skyrim.
Oh, I can level up. Haha, alright. Um. Jeez, I really do need. I'm just going to increase health for right now. Okay, and then let's see. 15, 17, archery is 16. Sneak is 18, speech is 20, alchemy is 20, illusion is 21. Okay. I don't ever put perks into my magic because I just don't use it enough. What I am going to do is I'm going to take the steel smithing perk so that I actually have some options for creating some gear. Alright. Well, thank you for your service, gentlemen. That was grand. Look at the map here. What's the best way to get back to solitude? That road actually, no, that road leads to the Thalmor Embassy. But that's Ironback Hideout. That's one of the places that I'm supposed to go. Alright. Let's go left. was an order to clear out bandits there. Let's go sneaky sneaky over the ridge. Do some uh, good old-fashioned Skyrim mountain climbing. Mountain climbing. Climbing the mountain. You gotta find a place to get a foothold to spring yourself up over. Which means just hitting the space bar endlessly. <laughs> while you're while you're pressing W, trying to make sure that you're always moving forward and jumping at the same time. Your followers can't follow you up this way. There aren't nav meshes. This isn't... I don't think this is necessarily something that... that you were intended... they intended that you be able to do. But it's just one of those iconic... absurd... Skyrim, Skyrimities. Oh, there's a standing stone out here too. What is this? This is like a ledge? Oh god. What are you doing? Dude. Oh jeez, she's got she's got arrows. They're just chilling. Oh, I do not want to get shot with an arrow. Oh! Nice shot ah Okay, gloves I I Simple bearskin cloak, I'll take that. Lock pick. Alright, are we are we good now? Ooh, Corundo. Take an iron arrow. Bandit chief. Gloves. And a steel Nordic spear. I can sell that back in town. Thick fur hood. (sighs) 
thick fur hood. Simple bearskin cloak. There we go. That looks good. Odd configuration. Frostfall. Armor and clothing. Thick fur hood. That's your head. That is what we would call... Maybe not frost-forged. Equipment covering. We'd call this a fur cloak? Yeah, 40 in coverage, 12. That's what I would say for that. Simple bearskin cloak. And that's going to be a fur cloak as well. So that's, yeah, that's all good. What if we did set it to, like, frost-forged? 40 and 20. Call this frost forged as well. 55 and 43. I think that's pretty... That's pretty good. Yeah, this is an alright... Uh, it's alright. Coin purse. Read beggar. Pickpocket increased to 16. I'll put that on my bookshelf. See if I can unlock this chest. It's a novice lock. I only have one lock pick. Lo and behold, I opened it. Ooh, a garnet, gold, a couple of lockpicks, a potion of minor stamina. What is it? Oof. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. Yeah. Word. Yes. All right, let me uh, mine this corundo. Is that all? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the whole thing. So is there a road that leads up to this or what? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, there's more corundum. Corundum! <clears throat> hey, Canadian Fox! How are you doing? Good to see ya. I am doing okay. Uh, I pulled my neck and the whole right side on my back <laughs> yesterday. So I'm just laying here chilling. Finally got my Skyrim all back up and running. Um, I don't know if you're into Skyrim at all, but it's actually my favorite game of all time. Uh, mine is highly modded. Highly, highly modded. Um, I uh, had to rebuild my computer almost a year ago, and it was uh, it was a mess. And I have so many mods that I run in Skyrim that I just uh, yeah, I broke it and became God. Okay, so yeah, you know. So um, I just finally got around to remodding my Skyrim and I'm um, I'm very happy to be back. I've missed it a lot. This is my character. This is Rainix Straightlighter. He is a uh, Jedi um dispatched by the Jedi Council to help out with the civil war uh in solitude. He's um you see his his lightsaber there. It's it's an actual uh, working lightsaber. I'll uh, I'll show you. It's pretty awesome. So it's awesome, and it makes all the lightsaber sounds and whatnot. It's very cool. Um, so Skyrim lightsabers. It's very amazing. Um, so anyway, yeah, we just. Yeah, A-plus mod. Yeah, it's very good. Um, 
so I am on my way back to Solitude. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the Thalmor Embassy, isn't it? I'm seeing it from across the way. I think so. Or maybe not. I don't know. What is that? Anyway, I grabbed a couple of guards from Solitude to come check out this cave where people are trying to resurrect uh, Potema the Wolf Queen. What is this place? I don't think I've ever been here. I have, by the way, I have about 850 hours in Skyrim. I have more time in this game than any other game that I've ever played. And I still don't know all of it like the back of my hand. And especially as modded as I have it, it's like sometimes I don't know, like, is this a mod or is this part of the vanilla game? I, I have no idea sometimes. It's so massive. I have no idea what this place is. Rothvine Manor requires key. Yeah, it's locked. What is this place? I've never seen this place before. Let's investigate. Okay, I gotta... I'm actually extremely cold. I'm also using Frostfall. I don't know if you know about modding Skyrim. Surely you know about Frostfall. It actually... It actually gives you... Gives you a metabolism. So you can... You can freeze to death if you're not properly attired. <gasps> okay, so Skyrim crashed. But that's okay. Because that's what happens when we mod Skyrim. It crashes. It breaks. So I'm restarting Skyrim, never fear. I obsessively quick save, so we should be back there pretty quick. Da, 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 da. A few mods on my game, mostly companions in general. Atmosphere. Haven't haven't got the frostfall mod. Alright, Skyrim, I told you to reboot. I told you to reboot okay, it's rebooting. Alright, continue. Let's see where the last time I've, um, yeah, see, they, they actually have, like, like movie lightsaber hilts and stuff, too. Um, I like using the lore-friendly, um, wooden hilt that looks like it has, like, a crystal on top of it. I, I think it's really cool that you can use, like, you know, the metal movie hilts for your lightsaber, or you can use, uh, uh, you can use one that looks more Skyrim-y. It's made of wooden leather. Yeah. Da 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 da. Oh. Okay. This is the seriously. This is the last time I save. Okay. Luckily, it's not that far back from where I was. Okay. Let me mine this corundum. Luckily, when we were in the last cave, I grabbed a pickaxe. Mm, corundum's good for stuff. Um, I'm super into immersion mods, too. Like, I have a mod for... My guy, like, his... His, his facial hair actually grows. So you have to have a razor, and you can, uh, you can style your facial hair and stuff. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I shaved clean before we came out on this adventure to look more respectable.
Da -da -da. And then I have a needs mod as well, so I have to eat, I have to drink, I have to sleep. Alright, so let's go across and check this place out again. Let's see, some people who mod are crazy with what they make for free just because they want to, yeah. Yeah, it, it is really crazy, and this is definitely like the most modded game of all time. And this isn't special edition, this is... Um, this is the original edition of Skyrim. Um, well, it's the original Legendary Edition, so it's got all of the DLCs, of course. But it is... Um, I don't know. I just, I just think that if you have a good original Legendary Edition of Skyrim, you can mod it to look better um, and play better than Special Edition. Um, and I think... Uh, game performance is much better. And there's so many mods available, it's like, when is it ever going to get old? It's not. Okay, this is where it crashed last time. There was like an enemy. Like, I saw a red dot, but I don't know what the red dot was. Now I'm up a mountain. Ah, okay. Oh, frostbite spiders. Frostbite spiders. Oops. <laughs> I fell off. I fell off the ledge. Sorry, guys. Well, sorry I didn't get the help. Amethyst? What is he doing carrying an amethyst? I'll take the frostbite venom too. Amethyst and frostbite venom. Yeah, so it's like you actually haven't missed much. It's I'm I'm at level I'm not even level two yet. Like I just started this character. He's pretty brand new. And I'm just, you know, scaling down the face of a mountain. And my guys are like, uh... Nope. They're not Jedi, obviously. Yeah, when I go around, when you can go over. Exactly. A wolf or just a dog? I'd be a wolf. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Sorry, doggy. Sorry, doggy. Sorry, doggy. Wait a minute. Hold up, guys. Where are we going? Do you have the map? Do you have the map? What is it? I just asked you. Do you have the map? No, I have the map. We're totally going the wrong way. And it's my fault. I apologize. If you need potions, head over to Angeline's aromatics. Well, potions are the least of my concerns right now. Alright, we're going over again. Doop, 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 doop. Now, I still have to be careful. Ah, Skyrim. It's so beautiful. Oh god, I'm starting to freeze to death. Okay. Hold on. This... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, do a flip. Uh... I wish. Uh... You can see there's frost all over my clothes because I'm so cold. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, I'm okay. Ah! <laughs> well, look where we are. Exactly where I wanted to be. 
Yeah, I've actually got a mod that allows you to have, like, um, unlimited followers. Hey, it's the Khajiits! The Khajiits are here! What's up, Khajiits? Khajiit is some come to buy, but others come to steal. Khajiit and you can... No oh, sorry. sorry, I'm sorry for interrupting. Resenda. Uh, and you can make anyone a follower. Um, you get a special spell that allows you to make anyone into a follower and you, well you can't have unlimited followers you can only have like 30 <laughs> you can only have 30 followers um, but it's nice because otherwise I wouldn't have had companions for this quest so I just you know pretended that they gave me a couple of the rank and file solitude guards to come with me on this so I just made a couple of guys my followers I'll probably let them go back to their regular jobs now we'll see we are creatures of the desert. The north wind chills us to the bones. She has, has wares if you have coin. Uh, I'm not sure how much coin I have right now, we but I got some loot from that last cave I was in. Alright. Hey, it's I my drum. You, friend. How may I serve you? What have you got for sale? Hey, let's see what he's got. Well, actually, let's see what I have to offload first. Alright. A um, couple of amethysts. Uh, Corundum Ore. Oh, I can level up again. Uh, I'll sell those Garnets. I'm not going to sell those. No, I'm going to use those for making... Making stuff. Scroll of Call to Arms. Targets have improved combat skills, health, and stamina for 10 minutes. I'm not ever going to use that. I'm selling it. Uh, draft of Strength couple of frostbite venoms. I'm going to keep those. I don't use magicka really, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Minor stamina. I'm going to get rid of that. Weak poison. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hold on to these things for right now. Um, I will sell this copper and onyx circlet. I will sell this dark trim wolfskin cloak. Or will I? No. You know what? I'm going to keep that one. I like that. I'm going to keep my fine hat. My robes of minor illusion. I'll sell those. Silver garnet ring. I'll sell that. Trap my hide travel cloak. Yeah, I don't need that. Travel lantern. I'll keep that. Tan hooded robes. Get rid of those. For, okay, and then weapons-wise, I'm sure there's stuff that I have now that I don't need. Yeah, like this Steel Nordic Spear. I'll go ahead and sell that. Da, da, da. I got nine hunting knives. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and sell eight of those. I'll just keep one on me. I've got my hunting bow. I've got lots of arrows. Yeah, see, I love that. That's what it, the hilt looks like up close. It's awesome. It's just, it's wood and it's got those leather straps on it. And it's got the uh, emitter crystal right there at the top. I think it's pretty slick looking. It's like, it's like a medieval lightsaber. Um, okay, so now let's see what Madron has. I don't need weapons. Let's see what he's got as far as clothing goes. I spend a lot of time in Skyrim just doing housekeeping stuff. I do my questing and stuff like that too, but I live in Skyrim. And I love going shopping. <laughs> uh, common robes, 20. Um, yeah, I don't know what those look like exactly, but it's only 6 gold. I'll buy those and try them on. Fur hood. I'm already wearing a fur hood. I just like to browse through shops, see what they've got. Leather doublet. Ooh, Nordic iron plates. If I wore heavy iron, uh, heavy armor. Yeah. That's good looking. It's good looking armor. Silver garnet ring. I don't need any of that. Burlap travel cloak. Travel lantern I've already got. Don't need any of that, really. Yeah, so basically he doesn't have... He doesn't have anything that I'm looking for, really. I don't need any of this stuff. So, thanks, Madron. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. 
I hate the hard fire DLC because my OCD makes me build all the knickknacks. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way too. Luckily, my house that I have here in Solitude is it's Proud Spire Manor, so it's not one that had to be built or anything. It's it's just one of the nice ones that you buy. You can decorate it, but you, you don't, like, build stuff for it. Uh, and normally I wouldn't be able to buy a house at this low of a level, but I'm using a mod called Alternate Start. So you can pick all kinds of different scenarios uh, to actually start your character in. So I started my character as the owner of Proud Spire Manor here in Solitude. So I already owned owned the home and again that's part of this role play that i'm doing that the jedi council set me up with some digs here in solitude so that i'd have a place to live so they're paying for it not me they've got credits ah, da, 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 da. skyrim smoke screen i should probably level up too Very, very nice in here. Uh, let me level up. Okay, so I'm going to put a point into health again. Let's see. Heavy armor block, 16. One-handed is 18. So let's, let's go ahead. Since I'm mostly a lightsaber wielder, I'm going to put most of my perks into the one-handed skill tree. So armsman, 0 of 5. One-handed... Weapons do 20% more damage. Cool. Feels like a storm's rolling in or something. And then I got a mod that is just, just ambiance, like Windy Skyrim is one of the mods that I'm using. So it makes like the lanterns and the, um... The Jedi Order didn't believe in money. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, because when I play Skyrim, I usually I'm I'm on the side of the Empire because I think the Stormcloaks are nationalist jerks. So um, I play on the side of the Empire, even though of course I don't agree with everything that the Empire stands for either. But um, I try to think of this as a as a different empire. This is separate from the Galactic Empire. As I've been basically marooned on this marooned out here on this of uh, this other planet and right now I don't have a lot of contact with well, you know, I, I would be working for the Galactic Republic. Because I think, I think I've decided that this is, this is an even longer time ago, in the same galaxy far, far away. But this is like probably between, you know, it's it's somewhere in between like the old Republic and um, the prequel series. Did you make snickerdoodles? Ooh, is that what that is? <gasps> My wife just made snickerdoodles and she brought me one. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm. Right on. That's delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> Canadian Fox is jealous. She's watching. She said she'd give you some if she could. Oh. Okay. Have you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's a good cookie. Mm. Alright. Carrying on. But anyway, yeah, because I love, um, like, the Knights of the Old Republic games. I don't know if you've played those, but I, I love the lore of the Old Republic. 
that I wish that that is where they would go next with the Star Wars franchise. Um, but I don't think they're going to based on stuff that I've heard so far. But we'll see what happens. But I feel like this is definitely after the events of Knights of the Old Republic. But it definitely happens before. Let's see. I just got the Old Republic on Steam, and I think I just left Terrace. Okay. Is this your first time playing either of those games? Because let me warn you right now, they will dominate your life. Like, my favorite games of all time are Skyrim and the Knights of the Old Republic games. I, I like Knights of the Old Republic 2 better than the original Knights of the Old Republic. Um, it has some problems, though. Um, they actually... They had to rush getting Knights of the Old Republic 2. Um, they had to rush getting it out. Uh... I know the twist with your character. That was spoiled a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to spoil that for you, but... Um, but uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2 is... Um, uh, it's like semi-unfinished. So there's something kind of creepy about it, and that makes it appealing to me. Because it's like they didn't get to actually like finish building the game. So there's a lot of content that um, that like you can't interact with. They say the college has been um, well, not a lot of content content that you can't that. interact with, but just enough content that you can't interact with that makes it mysterious. But I also think it's um it's a really uh, it's a really good story. But both of them are great games. Um, the original Knights of the Old Republic is fantastic. Of course. At the cost of the guards of our towns and roads. And I'm very excited for you to play both of them. As long as those dogs stay outside of our borders, we're fine. The stormcloaks are far from the only threat to the whole. The roads are beset by bandits and beasts. And now there's a I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raymond's has a large selection. Uh, what is wrong with my clothes? He just totally came over here and trolled me over my clothes. I love my clothes. I think they're awesome. What is wrong with my clothes? Of course I'm going to go shopping at Radiant Raymond, but there's nothing wrong with what I'm wearing now. That may well be our only answer. Let's see. I will empower I'm too nice in games that give me choices. I can't ever be mean. Uh, yeah, I'm the same way. I'm the exact same way. I tried playing that game... Like... Taking the dark side path. And I felt like a horrible person. Like, it was not... It was not fun. You know, and that was the same way with the Fallout games. Because they... They allow you to develop your character as either a good person or an evil person, and it's like, I don't like to be, I don't like to be bad, even in games. I just don't like it. <laughs> okay, so, um, what am I doing? Okay, I'm supposed to talk to Falk Firebeard. Where did he go? Where is Falk? What time is it? Uh, it's it's like quarter to eight. In game. So. Did he, like, just. Leave? I need to talk to Falk Firebeard. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he, Solitude Guard? What have you done with Falk Firebeard? I love the lighting mod that I have. Uh, well, I'm, I'm using two different lighting mods, but I think it looks it looks so real. I think the most I've ever gotten in character while playing RPG was Fallout New Vegas. The DLCs in that game were some of the best I've ever played. Um, I never played Fallout New Vegas. I watched my my brother play New Vegas. Um, I played three. Um, and I liked 3 so much that I didn't want to play 4. 
because I didn't want I didn't want anything to potentially be better than three. <laughs> so I didn't play New Vegas either. I mean, New Vegas looked cool, but um, yeah, I've heard really good things about it, but I'm afraid that it would make me never want to play Fallout 3 again. And I love that game so much. It means a lot to me. Yeah, 4 is not better. Yeah. And that that's kind of what I felt as well. Uh, that's kind of what I've heard. The Imperials are good for business and business. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to call it a night and come see Falk in the morning. Oh, there he is. Hey, Falk. I was just looking for you. Returned. Good. What did you find at Wolf Skull Cave? Some necromancers were attempting to summon and bind Potema. Potema herself? Please tell me you stopped them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I interrupted their ritual. It's done. That's a nice way of putting it. a larger service to the realm than you could possibly know. A resurrected Potema. I shudder at the thought. Hey, he gave me 400 gold, but there was some more things that I did. Hold on, hold on, don't walk away. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Wait, okay, yeah, don't leave yet. The bandit leader at Ironback Hideout is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here's your reward. A hundred gold for that. Do you have any water by chance? Of course. Thank you. He's filling up my... Filling up my water skins for me. Anyone with a stout heart like yours is welcome here. Aw, oh, thanks, Falk. So, yeah, he is cheap. That was like... And how much did he give me for... He gave me like, I think he gave me 800 gold for... I don't know. Um... Steward, but I will need the following reagents for my studies. Hold Please on. Um Miss Stentor, these are quite expensive. Yeah. Uh, I trust and he's very you cheap. Know how limited the whole's funds are at this time. Yes, and I'm also aware of how necessary my divinations and wards have been in the city's defense. My experiments will I ask for in return. Very well. But I suspect her grace will not be pleased. And I've seen yours come and go. You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. What Some junk are you talking about? Dude, you know what? I'm firing you. I used to be an adventurer like... Tweak options. Actions. I don't want to do a normal. Back. Hold on. We're going to destroy this, guys. Yeah, reset NPC. Remove from AFT's management. Original outfit will be restored. Spells, level, and skills will be reset, and the follower will be dismissed. However, lycanthropy and sanguinaire vampiris will not be cured. Only a full reset AFT cures these conditions. You wish to continue? Yes. Yes, reset NPC. Is he being reset? All right. Goodbye. And where's the other one? Is that you? I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with them. A lot warmer and a lot happier. You just go away. Reset NPC. Yes. I no longer require your services. Steward, I will need the following reagents for my studies. Guys, just walk around. Dogging on me about my clothes. I trust you know how limited the whole funds are at this time. Yes. I need to talk to Falk again. Business with the court. Alice. Okay. I know there's. Very well. But I suspect her grace will not be. I know there's more Wolf Queen stuff to do. How do I? Do I have to talk to Elisif? There's something. Personal, I was hoping you would do for me. Watch your tongue in the Jarl's what can I do for you, Jarl? Falk told me what you did for us at Wolf Skull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. 
As you may know, Talos' worship is outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a warhorn handed down from his father, and place it at a shrine of Talos. I would be honored to help. I can't do it right now. It would mean a lot to me. But we'll 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 take care of it. Heard there were wolves on the road up north. There's more than wolves on the road up north. I'm Mr. Telling Bearclaw. I've heard howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go home. I'm going home. That was an eventful day. Yeah, that, 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 that. I will need the following reagents for my studies. Please see to them. Yes, then. Open solitude. Ah, oh, see, it's night time. Beautiful. I love Skyrim, and look at that. That HD Sky mod that I have. That's very Star Warsy. <sighs> Alright. Walking back to my home. Back to my home. Yeah, I guess I'll go see them in the morning. That's the bottom door to my house. Up here is the main door to my house. It's dark. Oh, I love that 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 mist that's coming off the f fires there. That's part of part of one of my ambiance mods. It looks so good. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for about an hour so it gets really dark. Or a little darker anyway. Oh wait. Chef kiss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looks really good. I'm going to wait for like one more hour. I feel like it should still be darker. <clears throat> no, I guess it's just a really bright sky night. A bright skied night. Alright, home sweet home. Alright. Welcome home. This is my kitchen. This is a basket that I knocked over and I can't get upright again. So I just put it on this table. No, I don't want to read a book. I'm going to activate the bookshelf. And get rid of my books. Here we go. Just about time to start my own stream. Cool. Thanks for stopping by, Canadian Fox. I'm about done, too. I'll stop by and see what you're doing in a little bit. Take care. Bird's eye. I need those. Right? I need those.
All right, have a good night, you too. Bounty. Oh, I've already done that. Cure disease potion, mud crab chitin, and vampire dust. That's cool. Spell tome, lesser one. Straight lighter. All right. Take goat cheese wheel. All right. Time for my dude to go up and go to bed. I'm a bit fatigued. Alright folks, well that is going to conclude my stream for the evening. I am Nick Strait. Thanks for joining me. Um, make sure you check out uh, my other videos here uh, on my Twitch channel. I'm a musician. I love airplanes. I love video games. So I try to try to combine all those things. So uh, there's all kinds of interesting, uh, interesting things that I stream. So... Um, uh, also, make sure that you follow the link to my YouTube channel, uh, which is uh, right here on my channel profile here on Twitch. But go to my YouTube channel. Um, it's just Nick Straight Music um, on YouTube. Uh, make sure you click the little bell, uh, the notification icon, so that you get uh, notified anytime that I put a video up. Because as we all know, Twitch doesn't hold on to our videos forever, so as soon as I'm done streaming, I'll put them up on YouTube, which uh, I'll probably hold on to them for all eternity. So they're always there for posterity. So anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw here tonight, um, and we'll see you back next time. Love you all dearly. Please stay safe out there, and um, yeah. We'll see you soon.